hello it's Sarah just figured I'd turn on the camera guys I'm in the craft room and I am making a wind catcher so I don't know what it's called sun catcher thing I have kind of like kite shaped metal and then I just wove beads in between and I don't know that this will go outside but it'll kind of just hang in my craft room I connected the kite shapes with a jump ring and now I'm creating the little dangles that I'm going to put um, from these little parts so it should be kind of I don't know a mobile feel to it I f that's just the vibe I'm feeling from it um, nothing perfect at all very beginner friendly I just am playing I'm learning still about the wire and what I like and don't like. I've been doing other projects as well um, and I can share, I'll share those with you in another video but this one, uh, just to finish this up I created six dangles that I'm going to put on these sections so I have two purple ones and then two green ones that are going to go down here and I'm just going to show you how I made those so I took <clears throat> A piece of wire and this happens to be 24 gauge copper wire got it at um, Michaels it's bead landing so I'll, I'll just unstring this so I just cut myself about six inches worth and I created a little uh, bottom I'll cut this off and I'll do it again I wasn't gonna do this but um, I want to make a head pin out of this so I just need to put a stopper on the bottom so that my beads don't fall off so all I'm gonna do is use these I think these are called needle nose pliers and grab right at the very end so I have kinda just put the I've met the end of the wire and then I'm gonna bend it completely back on itself and I create this little hook and then I'm gonna crunch the hook Sometimes, oop, I got it pretty good. Sometimes it just, I, it takes a minute. But yeah, so I crunch it and then I do it again. So I'll just fold it because sometimes the bead holes that I use are a little bigger than others. So I just do it twice just so I don't have to worry about it, anything slipping off. And crunch it again. Such techni techno um, technical words. Crunch it. I don't know. Okay. So now I have this kind of doubled up wire at the end that's going to create the little stopper. Um, how did I want to do this? I'm going to put the, this bead. This little, it's just a little bicone crystal that I, I feel like has a small hole and it'll, um, yeah, it definitely won't come off the end. And then I'll start building my stack. Um, and I think I kind of went with like a big at the bottom work my way up but not really I just wanted to get a lot of different variations of green color some crystal some not crystal so that's what I mean it's not all sun catchery meaning the sun can't go through all of it not all of the beads are transparent just want to make sure it's the same about the same size as the other one and then to close it because I am going to use jump rings regular jump rings that I just had in my stash these happen to be silver this is a uh, copper color I mixed metals all th three of these different kite shapes this one's in silver tone this one's kind of like an antique brass and this one's like a gold tone so I am mixing all the metals that's what I'm kind of doing is just seeing what I like seeing what feels good I don't know I'm just playing really so, okay so now I have my round nose pliers and these are Michaels again I want to see if it says the brand casual comfort no I got these at Hobby Lobby on clearance they're just round nose so both sides of the pliers have a round tip and I take and I just grab the wire right I butt right up against that top bead and just pull the wire over make a right angle then I'm going to remove the plier and put it kind of in the middle and wrap it all the way around to the bottom then I'm going to remove the plier and grab it one more time and just pull this wire around and just start wrapping and I wrap it all the way down to the bead and I've watched different tutorials for this there's um, some people like to double right back up the wrap they just did to like double over it 
but for this piece I'm not I am just keeping it super simple and then I'm going to take these are called um, I forget what they're called but they have a definite flat side and a beveled side to the cutter so just make sure that you're um, I like to use the flat side when I cut And cut that extra off and then I take those needle nose pliers again and just kind of crimp it down up against the wrap that edge so it's not pointy and that's it that's my little dangle that I'm making now I have played with wire before this is um, actually coated wire so see it's not actual wire and then you definitely use a crimp bead on it this bracelet I'm wearing right now I have wire wraps for these fire, um, fire polish glass beads and then I put a jump ring in between each one and I put a, a toggle clasp on the on the end of it. It's a little big but I like it. Alright so to, to add these dangles to my piece I'm just going to use a jump ring. Like I said these are just buy them in a pack. They're all ready. And a jump ring, I think they're called jump ring or split ring and they basically are a piece of wire with a split in it. So, and when you open these, you want to go side to side like this. You don't want to pull it apart like that. You want to go back and forth. So I'm just going to open this like that. Then I'm going to take, let's see, I want pink. Put the pink dangle on there and then I'm just going to put this around where I want it to hang from and do the same thing to close it. Just meet it back up. So I'm just going to take two needle nose pliers and meet it back up and now that's dangling on that. So I'm going to do that to all these pieces. Um, so I have been, I've made a lot of stuff. Maybe I will share it at the end of this video. I think I will since this is all I really had planned to do. I'm just waiting for Kirby to get done at the groomer. Um, I did all my errands this morning. Had a good morning. Got a lot done. And um, just so I'm just waiting. So I figured this was, I knew this had to be finished. And this worked up real, real quick. This was something that I saw on, I think it's the Beadalon, which is a brand of bead products that she had a you she has a YouTube channel beetle on and um, she was making these she was using up kind of like bead mixes that she had and so see how these are like there's all different beads in here so I just went through my stash and gathered up all types of beads there's some glass some plastic some you know some crystal some not crystal anyway um, and I just thought it was really cool because I have a lot of beads and I had the wire and I just decided to go for it. So I will go ahead and attach all these. I'll be back when I'm done and I will show you my other shares. Be right back. Okay, I have it hanging here on the little hook in my craft room. I'm going to try and zoom in a little. It's not the best shot, but you can see it's hanging from a hook and it has all the dangles on it. I put green dangles on the green, purple on the purple, pink on the pink, and then I put a little mixture of beads on the bottom. And it's pretty cool. I'm going to zoom back out. Um, you know, it stays pretty forward facing, so I don't know if the wind blew, like I just hit it a little. <laughs> But I mean, it's pretty cool. I think I like it. And, you know, it was really simple. So maybe I'll do a tutorial for you guys. I'm just kind of trying to get it from a different angle. Just using up some of the beads that I had in my stash. Some 12 gauge wire and jump rings, really. So, and some other wire. Uh, 24 gauge, I think. So let me come back over to my desk. I'll be right back. Okay. So this is a little... Um, I guess sun catcher I'm going to call them, right? I made a B-skep. So this is again, I want to say this is 12 gauge wire. This is 12 gauge. Uh, bead Landing, so Michaels I think is the brand. They had a bunch of different colors, so I just took some of the gold 
and I didn't know how much I would need and I just started making bends to make a B scap and I wrapped the wire around the side and beaded some here and you know whatever I made a little B scap and then I made a little circle for the hole and then I didn't do any dangles I just put a B charm here and then a big crystal at the top and a little hanger so that's one this hangs in my window um, and then this was a cool design I liked the perspective it I did pretty good with it I think I hammered it I've been hammering the wire because and there's a name like a technical name for doing that it hardens the wire so 12 gauge wire is pretty soft and so when you hammer it and I just use this little was six dollars at B landing it's kind of wonky I have another one anyway it stiffens it so it stays in its shape better and it, and you can also spread the wire out like make it thicker I'll show you another one so this one was I think I tried to do the same shape <coughs> I used the jig <coughs> this is oops hold on <coughs> artist something uh, wait a minute <clears throat> it's a jig the brand name it was on clearance I think I got this for like super cheap and I'm having a, um, a cough issue right now <clears throat> this is it's called artist artistic wire is the brand name <clears throat> and these are actually the pegs the way that I did this I just put the big thing in I looped it around and then I didn't know how much wire I'd need to do it so I had too much and then I just connected it and you know I'm playing I'm just playing with this new media um, and yeah and then I wrapped the gold crystals around the edges kind of off off kilter and I had this gold bead in my stash and hung it there this one I did differently so I did those two and I think I showed you the moon already I had shown you the hearts in the other one I did a couple I did a silver with gold which I love that really puts off a lot of bling I did the gold with red and I love that and I did a black frame it's over there but then I did this moon I don't know if I showed you the moon this is with the silver tone I think it's all copper wire but it's just um, silver colored and I just used blue crystals and these were the crystals that I shared in my haul they came in a like a strand of four sizes so here's how it comes this happens to be glass smoke pink so you get the really big one the medium the next medium and then the small so you get four different sizes to play with so that's what I did. I just used the big to next size, to next size, to next size. And I just did that. And then I had these big blue ones for the angel. And I put a little angel bead on the top. And I like it. It's cute. These are very, now that I feel I'm in the vibe, like I feel it. It's, I'm not nervous about it is what I mean. You know, like I don't feel like I can really mess it up. Um, then I made some hold on this was actually I'll put this in the shot while I go get my other one I forgot to get this was something I saw as a tutorial that I'm and I'm really happy with it I really winged this um, the only thing I don't like is this little it's not like really rounded and it hangs kind of wonky but I just liked using the two-tone so the gold and the bronze color or brass color, I don't know, antique brass, bronze. This is a little bit of a thicker wire that I wrapped the pieces, but I made these S shapes and they're pretty even. Like I was happy with it because I just threw it together. Um, but let me show you this. It's on my table in here. This was the first one that I did. It's a tree of life. They're pretty popular. Um, people make pendants out of these but this is actually using a macrame ring that that they had I have a bunch of them in different sizes uh, I have three more in this size which I think is four inches 
I have two silver and a gold and they are connected so they're joined and then it was just and then I have like a six inch I want to say this is six yeah and I had an idea for a bit much bigger one and I do have them I did get a much bigger one this is probably at least eight eight or ten inch this is a ten this one so anyway they have all different these are by Ashland and this is from Michaels um, doesn't fit in there anywho the only thing I didn't do was wrap the entire ring now if if you're doing this as a jewelry piece you would probably just use the wire and make your own circle and then they have you wrapping the whole entire ring which I didn't do and I don't hate it I think it's okay but do you see what I mean like each branch you can see the wrap of each branch and I think if I would have wrapped the whole wire the whole ring first it kind of just hides that like it just it's just going to be part of the design I love that like you can take the wire like there's a part of the branch right here that's a little bugging me I'm just going to crimp it together I don't know I just didn't want it to be open right there but you can kind of bend the roots a little out or in or whatever it was fun this was my first one I put a bird in the tray can you see him oops I hope I'm in the shot there's a bird right there so this one I used gold wire and then this is the other one I have it on a stand and I don't know where I got these stands this is done that's amethyst and this one was done with citrine but I have one two I have two of those and I did it a little off to the side because again I saw something like this on Pinterest and you can tell where there's no gemstones that's where I wanted the branches to be seen but look how this is sliding so see I think if I would have done wrapping all the way around the piece it probably holds everything together a little better so like it can just the branches can just move and slide um, I guess the roots could too but I used this antique antique bronze or copper you know what I think I have an unopened pack it is called antique brass because it was brown I thought well that looks like a tree trunk I mean I think any color is going to look pretty so I love it I liked it with the citrine and I ended up adding like a few no I don't think I ran out on the amethyst I added just regular beads round beads now this is all chips so this is all done with chips you need at least like two packs of chips to do it and then this just hangs I made a little extra hanger piece with um, a crystal and then I hang it and it sits on my table in the Zen Den because I have other crystals I like crystals um, so I did that and then I did this itty bitty one again these were rings that were pre-made like they're solid they're not uh, jump rings or split rings um, and it, it, you know it's all right I used itty bitty little tiny green beads um, I guess they're called e beads and you know I'm not going to use it for anything but I just wanted to see how small I could go and if I liked it and that being said you don't have to put beads on these at all you can just make a naked tray so I think I might try one with a naked tray and to do that I was using this 24 gauge wire and that's what I use a lot to wrap my beads first thing reason is that most of my beads have small holes they don't have very big holes and I know this will go through the hole in the bead the other reason is it's pretty soft it's definitely like I like look it it doesn't hurt your fingers to really to play with it and to you know so um, it's a good gauge to use for wrapping and to, so you don't hurt yourself um, and that's about it but that being said I, I just remembered that I had these um, where'd they go I've done other things and I don't know they're not here um, in the past I've done 
No, they're not here. They're little people. That I, oh, here they are. I knew they were nearby. I want to show you these because I haven't really looked at these in a long time. Um, I got, I found one, and there was a company that made them. They're little people. These are mine. These are not by the company. Um, this is mine. I think these are all mine. I might have, here she is. This is the actual one that was made by a bead company. And I don't know the name of the bead company. Um, it's a pin. And they have this beaded hair and just really cool. So, of course, I wanted to make them myself, and I didn't really know how. I'm pretty sure this one's from the company, because I didn't have any beads like this. These little yellow and with the red. Um, like, I don't, I don't have any of them in my stash. Uh, but that being said, there's another one. Um, and I just started playing and figured out different ways to make them, but I didn't make pins out of them, because I didn't know how to add the pin. See, because without a tutorial, it's hard to know. But I, I must have shared these on my um, channel before because I know, I'm pretty sure I did. I mean, they're cute. They're all right. But I think that the speed company would make different ones with themes, you know, like a shopper girl or a teacher or, you know, whatever. And they're just cute. And this is all done with wire and beads. So let your imagination go and just play. That's what I'm really starting to embrace. Um, that's what makes the world go round. Listen, you know, if we only just play by the rules, play by the rules, I mean, yeah, it's important, but we also have to in innovate, right? With these tiny little pretty gold beads. All right. That's it. I might as well put this in the shot or something. Let me come back up. And I hope you guys are playing. Um, it's been pretty hot in New Jersey. What a beautiful summer we're having. The ocean temperature is gorge. It's just nice. And so get out there or not. Stay in the air conditioning and create or just be grateful. And thank you for watching.